Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you Ubuntu 22.04, which was changed by Joshua Rick to run on Raja Rock 5B and other Rockchip RK3588 single board computers. And I'm currently using OBS Studio. So everything you see is both run and recorded at the same time on the Raja Rock 5B. So here we have the GitHub page from Joshua Rick. And you can download for several single board computers. And he is currently working on a release based on Ubuntu 24.04. So what can you do to support the project? Well, you can start a repository and follow him on GitHub. You can report bugs. And you can also donate through GitHub. But the first thing you can do is just try to test either Ubuntu 22.04 or the beta of Ubuntu 24.04. Now, as I said, I'm using OBS Studio. So you can use a patched version of OBS Studio from a repository by, I think that's Liu Jianfeng. So you have to add the repositories to this file. And it actually has a typo, it's PPA not PPU. Oh, and yeah, because we are using some specific hardware things like the hardware video encoder, but currently we can only access that with the rock chip kernel, which is in this case based on 5.10. And I think with the new Ubuntu 24.04 that they are using the 6.1 kernel. But going back to the instructions to install OBS Studio. So you need elevated rights. So that's why I'm running the text editor Nano through sudo and as I said it's a typo so it's PPA and this is what it should look like I think originally only the three first lines uh, were there once you've made that change you can uh, update the repositories and install OBS Studio. Now, I'm not really sure if let's just say one year ago uh, that there have been some updates that you no longer need this, but I know that this thing is to make sure that you report OpenGL 3.3 support. So here you can see 
that it does report OpenGL 3.3 support. And I didn't add this to the environment file. I did try to add this to the environment file, but it wasn't working for me at that moment. So in the end, I removed that from the environment file because at the end of this thread, you can see that someone says you need Qt 6. I didn't install that kernel package. Um, I don't know ex what it does exactly. So who knows if it makes OBS Studio more stable because what I did notice with the current implementation that sometimes you get sort of like a deja vu effect that the recording just yeah records the same thing for like a second or something and after that it will continue. So if you see some deja vu effects that's not what's really happening on screen, but that is just probably a bug with the driver for the hardware video encoder. So who knows in the future if that is fixed with Ubuntu 24.04 with the 6.1 kernel. Anyway, OBS Studio is working without taking away too much CPU resources. So if we test, for instance, WebGL Aquarium with the Intel N100, I got, yeah, let's just say 60 frames per second. So if we tried it on a RK3588 single board computer, we're dropping back to 10 frames per second. Now that doesn't mean, doesn't necessarily mean that the RK3588 isn't as powerful as the Intel N100, because this relies heavily on OpenGL and the Intel N100 supports a higher version of OpenGL. And unfortunately, we don't have Vulkan support yet for the Rockchip RK3588, at least not with Ubuntu. Hopefully that is something for the future. And then perhaps also with Zinc, that you can run OpenGL commands or instructions through Vulkan. But again, that is something for the future. Now, as Joshua Rieck mentioned, there is a patched version of Chromium, and that way you are able to play 4K YouTube. So here you can see with the stats for nerds, it's 4K, AV1, and we'll play it. And apart from the deja vu effect, there are still some glitches. But I think this is good enough for now. And I don't think, for instance, a Raspberry Pi 5 will ever be able to play 4K YouTube as smooth as this. Now, as a last test, Ether SX2, PlayStation 2 emulation. Uh, the renderer, it does give you the option of Vulkan, but that doesn't work. Um, so it's using OpenGL. And we're on three times the resolution. So as a quick test, I'm going to the Demi attack. So 
So first we get the Bushido from Oran. And in the right bottom corner you can see the frames per second. And here comes the demi attack. And perhaps you saw that it dropped to around 30 frames per second. I think I saw 29. So the Intel N100, I think it dropped to around 45 frames per second. But with the Intel N100, I was able to use the Vulcan driver. So hopefully somewhere in the future, we also get the Vulcan driver for the Rockchip RK3588 and that we can do a fair comparison. But for now, I think the performance is okay. Uh, so perhaps if you go back to two times the resolution, then yeah, that's most of the things will stay at 60 frames per second. And who knows in the future with the Vulcan driver, things will get better. So, again, the first thing you can do to support the work of Joshua Rigg is by testing his Ubuntu images. And perhaps also you want to support him through GitHub. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.